Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Manscaped has the revolutionary electric trimmer, the Lawnmower 3.0. It's cordless, it's waterproof, and it's guaranteed not to nick or snag your nuts or your chest because you can use it upstairs and downstairs. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. I do feel bad for people who don't have like a solid family background or like a good friend base. It's going to support yeah. them when they get into porn right. because, you know, it can be a very isolating career because a lot of people judge you for what you do, like you just said. And when you go through hard times, which all of us do, you know, regardless of whether or not you work in porn, like we all have, have times of distress where we really need to lean on other people. Yeah. And if you don't have family and you don't have like a, you know, you don't have friends that are going to support you that's a that's really lonely and it's really hard yeah. and i think that's the hardest on people in the adult industry is is the isolation due to the stigma that comes from porn without a doubt i actually early on in the industry i had one of the girls say to me uh she came up to me and she was like hey you know like this this industry is very lonely she's like you're gonna feel alone a lot of the times like if you ever need someone to talk to i'm here for you and when she said that i appreciated it but at the same time it was still early on so i was like what is she talking about like lonely like i don't feel lonely like this is i don't understand what she's saying by this and then the more things um developed the more i realized what she was saying because like specifically even just in like romantic relationships um I never realized how hard that this career would, could affect something like that. Um, mm -hmm. It does feel incredibly lonely because there's so many times where I just felt like it was going to work out with somebody and then it didn't because all of a sudden they're not okay with my career or they just decided that, you know, like it's not for them anymore. Like, which, you know, teach their own. I totally understand that somebody that couldn't handle this being with someone with this career, it definitely takes a certain type of person that um, would be okay with this. So, um, not that it's a bad thing. I don't think it's bad. It's just that it's, that is emotionally tolling. I'm sure for that person to be with, uh, somebody in the industry, you know, like if you don't, if you, you have to look at it a certain way and realize well, it is just a career. It's just work. It's not personal or emotional. Um, so it, it, I, I've definitely been through some crummy experiences with relationships and in the industry. Like there was one guy that I was with who, uh, he like, actually really liked my job like a little too much like he wanted me to like come back and tell him like all the things I did and like uh, like talk about it during sex and stuff and at first I was like okay cool well I finally met somebody that like doesn't hate what I do you know what I'm saying or like I finally said it's like I thought that that was like a cool thing at first and then the more I went on the more I was like it felt like he more liked the idea of who I was and what I was doing than like actually me a little bit, you know? And I was like, I was like, am I being like fetishized? Like in a way, like, I was like, I don't know. Like it's maybe not that cool. He was, he was a fun guy, but it was just not like a, it wasn't meant for a long-term thing. Um, and then even just more recently, I had had this relationship that was great. Amazing. Um, literally nothing wrong. I, it taught me so many healthy coping skills and like, uh, it break me out of a lot of toxic things that I used to do in the past and made me realize that's not the way to be anymore. But out of nowhere, he, he had told me early on that he wasn't sure if he was going to be fully okay with my career. He was like, you know, I, we'll, we'll take it as it goes. And I was like, okay. Um, uh, out of nowhere, one morning, right after we have sex, he, he tells me that, um, Hey, I talked to my dad last night and, uh, he asked like what, what you do again. Cause I guess his dad had asked him previously what I'd done and he kind of gave him the ring around. And, um, he said, my dad asked again and I believe him because it was during a time when one of my videos was trending on Pornhub. So it was like on the first or second page of Pornhub, like for a couple of days. So I was like, the dad probably saw the video on Pornhub and was like, what the fuck? Wait, okay. What does she do? You know, like to, trying to get it out of him. And, um, so he was like, he told him what I did and the dad is like super conservative and strict and like basically yet, yet he was probably found you on Pornhub. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I mean, dude, those are the people that watch porn the most, the people that go to church, the people that, you know, are so like, like very strict and conservative in their ways. They're the ones that watch it the most in, in my opinion. But, um, yeah, so he, he kind of talked him out of it and I guess made him feel like shit for being with me. Like, you know, like, this is bad. Like, are you sure you want to do this? Like, it, and, and he even told him, like, I'm not allowed to, like, come over anymore because, like, he lived with his dad. And he was like, yeah, you're not, like, uh, she's not allowed to come over anymore. And I was like, what the fuck? And I'm like, I had met his dad so many times. And, like, I was always nice to him. So I'm like, 
even the fact that he knew like how I am as a person that like he would still be like that was so weird to me um and it was more painful for me to have somebody tell me like oh it's not my choice it's not really me it's it's someone else in my family that convinced me because I'm like think for yourself you know like if this is something you're not okay with then that's one thing but it, it hurt more to hear like someone's family is like forcing them to make a different choice, you know? So, yeah, I mean, it comes right back again to what we just talked about with the stigma around porn, yeah. which drives people's decisions about how they treat people in the industry. So, I mean, that's, that's a perfect example of, of just, for me, like the biggest problem with porn is really the way society treats people in the industry, not the industry itself. Yeah, absolutely. Manscaped is here to up your body grooming game. Their lawnmower 3.0 is a revolutionary electric trimmer that will not only not nick or snag your nuts, but can also be used on your chest hair. If you get it in the perfect package 3.0, it will come with a bunch of liquid formulas to keep you feeling and smelling fresh all day. And for a limited time, you can also get a free travel bag and anti-chafing boxer briefs that come with it. So go to manscaped.com, use code HRU for 20% off plus free shipping. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.